Welcome to Flip It Furniture. My name is Amy and today we're making over this vintage vanity. I am super excited about this makeover. It's been sitting in my garage. I think I posted the picture of it about a year ago and I have taken it out four or five times out of my garage, put it in the house, looked at it for a week and then put it back because I just didn't feel like I had an idea that was great enough to give it justice. I really started looking at this piece and the little there is a little panel on little design on the front with these circles and right from there i started having ideas and i'm thinking that reminds me <laughs> how weird but it reminds me of like a belly dancer's dress um one of their outfits or costumes they have like the little gold circles you know and i'm thinking of sort of boho too so maybe some neutrals but i also want those pops of color so that's my thought process for this piece I I start this makeover by cleaning my piece and I'm using Dixie Belle's White Lightning Cleaner. This piece was absolutely filthy. I mean, it was like just beyond. It was extremely, extremely dirty. So I had to give it a really, really, really thorough cleaning. When I finished using the White Lightning Cleaner, I rinsed it down with some water and then I had to remove all of the hardware. There were a few chips in the veneer on the top, so I just filled those in with some walnut wood filler. The walnut was the closest to the veneer. When the wood filler was all dry, I took my piece outside and I just gave those tops a nice sanding because they were so worn out, they were sort of crackly and chipping and just icky, so I wanted to make sure that my surface was nice and smooth. And then, because there are some serious odors on this, I'm gonna seal those in using clear shellac. When you're using shellac spray, you wanna be sure that you're wearing your respirator mask. Um, you wanna be outside where it's well ventilated, and you wanna cover that entire piece. Because if you don't, you're still gonna have those odors. I pull the drawers out and I spray inside. That is the number one um, thing that I can recommend doing is making sure that you take the drawers out and you spray where those drawers go because those odors are really strong in there and sometimes they're just hiding and people don't realize that. Now for the drawers, I'm using the shellac out of the can with just a sponge brush. I didn't want to use all of my spray can because I need it for another project. So that's the only reason I'm using it out of the can. When I was shellacking the drawer fronts, I was looking at them and I love the design on the front. So I decided to give them a really um, light sanding with some 220 grit and then put some no paint gel stain in walnut. Because the orangey color is really outdated, I thought if I put some walnut on them, it would just give that really nice brown and it would look really good with my idea. I'm applying a very tiny amount to these drawer fronts and with the sponge brush I'm just making sure that my application is nice and even. Now that I decided to keep the drawer fronts natural, I'm also gonna keep the legs natural. So I need to just tape them off and I use some foil just to make sure I don't get paint on them and then some blue tape. So now I taped off all the sections I didn't want to paint and I'm going to use my aubergine as my first color for paint. And I'm painting on just the base coat. So again, like I always do, I'm just testing out and trying to find out exactly where I want to place my colors with this base coat. My next color is muscadine wine and these are colors from Dixie Belle Paint Company. I started to add the muscadine wine over the aubergine and it created this beautiful dark magenta color. You can still see the darkness of the aubergine underneath, but then, and you can still see muscadine wine on its own, but there is this new color that's in the mix now, this dark magenta. And I'm adding Plum Crazy with one of those teeny tiny sponge brushes just to do a little bit of blending on those circles on the front.
and I decided to add the Plum Crazy above the Muscadine wine. And for my last color, I'm using Sandbar. So we have Aubergine, Plum Crazy, Muscadine wine, and Sandbar. And the Sandbar looks like it's going on white, but it dries as this nice soft tan. And I love the Sandbar with any kind of pinks it just it pairs really well together so here's my first base coat which is also my practice coat and I don't like that side and I decide I like this side better so I'm gonna replicate that for my second coat and I do end up covering the tops and that backer board with the sandbar I just wanna show you how I'm gonna blend out the sides. I'm using the aubergine first. I'm not using a lot of it. A little actually goes a long way. And when I mix this muscadine wine with the aubergine and make that color, it just looks so good together. So um, I'm spraying with my water and I'm sort of blending in an upwards motion mostly. I do go back and forth, but I'm not looking for my normal blended look. I don't want this to be extremely blended. I still want it to be a little rustic looking. I'm going for more of that boho vibe. So I don't want my colors to blend together perfectly without any seams. I want there to be seams. I want it to be, I hate to call it a messy blend, but I'm looking for my colors to just stand out a little bit more, be a little bit more noticeable. And as you can see here, I still use my dry brush to blend the colors. I just, I'm going up and down with it more than I am back and forth. This is the look I'm going for for the other side and then the inner sides of the vanity. This is the point where everything changed for me. I do not like the way that the mirror looks so I ended up painting it with muscadine wine and then I put the drawers in and I, nothing, it just doesn't go. It's not working for me. I love those drawer fronts so much but it's just not cohesive and it's not working with the natural wood so unfortunately i did decide that i have to paint the legs and the drawer fronts and all the stuff that i kept natural sometimes things like this just happen and we have to roll with it So here I did a base coat of aubergine and then I added just a little bit of that muscadine wine.
The trickiest part for me in this makeover is right now trying to get the drawer fronts to match with the sides that I've already done. So now I need this blend to match and I don't want to push the drawers in all the way because I don't want to have to repaint the sides since I'm really happy with the way that they look. But now I just have to get it to match. So here we go. <laughs> I just move my camera up right there so you can see when I'm adding the Plum Crazy. I push the drawers in to see if it matches and it does not at all so I realized that I have to probably keep the drawers in and just be really really careful and keep wiping I should have had a rag but I didn't so I just kept wiping it off with my fingers as it hit the sides I'm feeling a little frustrated at this point and I probably should have walked away. I should have put my brush down, walked away, gave it a couple hours or maybe the next day. But I was so determined to get it right that I wouldn't stop. And as you can see, my colors are muddying. At this point, I should have went and grabbed another dry brush because my dry brush isn't dry enough. So if you can see on the sides, there's a little bit of brown coming up because I'm mixing and blending my colors way too much. If this happens for you, walk away. <laughs> Just walk away. Don't keep going. Walk away, let it dry, come back and try again. I'm really stubborn, so of course I didn't walk away, but um, I highly recommend just walking away because I've had to do it a million times. This just particular day, I, I just wasn't thinking right. I wasn't thinking clearly. I was too much into the project and that just made my life a little bit more difficult. If I had just come back with a clear head and the paint was dry, it would have been so much easier.
this is the point where I start feeling that little sense of relief and it is coming together and it's blending nice and pretty soon I'll just have to put the brush down. <laughs> Both sides with the drawer fronts are now fully painted and I'm going to add some of this gold. It's pale gold. It is the Posh Chalk Pigments. This is my first time using it. You just add a little bit of the powder and then they have this um, Posh Chalk Infuser. It's like a little sealer and you, I just put a little scoop in there and I mixed it together. Then I apply it with a small brush on all the details. And I'll say, of course, it was super addicting. It's so bright and gold and beautiful. So I had to just keep adding it to every detail. <laughs> And if you get the Posh Chalk pigments on any of the spots that you didn't want, you can just keep a rag next to you and just wipe it up while it's still wet. It's e It wipes up really easy. Okay, so I'm done with the mirror and I don't like it. I don't like the muscadine wine part. So I am taking it down and I'm gonna paint it with the sandbar. I started with just a little brush thinking I wouldn't have to take it off, but I do. I have to take the mirror off, put it on the floor and repaint it. I did keep some of the pinks and purples on the end of the mirror on the bottom part of it and I just did a little blend using the Plum Crazy. Now for the stool. I'm going to take the exact same pattern that I've used throughout this entire vanity and just implement it with the stool. So aubergine, then muscadine wine, then Plum Crazy, and then sandbar. And for the handles, I'm using Slick Stick Primer to prime them because it's an adhesion primer. So it'll help my chalk paint to stick better. Then I apply two coats of aubergine. I'm applying a third coat of aubergine and muscadine wine and I'm just patting both of the colors on.
Now I'm covering these with some gold gilding wax. The seal, I'm using Minwax's clear lacquer. Here's a reminder of what we started with. Here's what it looks like today. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Did I capture that rustic boho belly dancing vibe? Might be biased, but I think I did a pretty good job, especially because I was so indecisive at times. I'm really happy with the end results. Don't forget, if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button because it helps YouTube to push it out to more people, which in turn really helps support my channel. I will see you next week with another furniture makeover.